right, what's going on everyone? It is Sean from Barbell Built Body and today we are talking about sodium citrate supplementation. Uh, so I got a couple studies I wanna uh, go over with you. I'm gonna try and keep it super brief uh, and hit the high points uh, unless people actually wanna go into the nuances later. Um, and then I have no problem doing that. However, I think people want the nitty gritty. So here we go. First of all, first study, tennis players, national over Brazilian. Uh, tennis players ranked 10 to uh, 55 uh, rankings. Uh, basically what they did, they had them go through a placebo, uh, they had them go through a placebo and a uh, sodium citrate trial. The placebo was given uh, NACL in a liter of water. Uh, the sodium citrate was 500 milligrams per kilogram of body weight um, in a liter of water two hours before uh, they ran through repeated sprint testing, a specific tennis performance test. Um, then they did an hour simulated match and then they did testing again. Now, a couple things to note. The, the quantity of sodium was not equivalent. So uh, in, in a liter of uh, what would be the appropriate dosing, which is 0.5 grams or 500 milligrams per kilogram of body weight of sodium citrate, uh, assuming it's trisodium citrate, there's a few different uh, um, chemical compounds. If it's trisodium citrate, which is normally what is used, uh, it's a whopping nine grams of sodium intake, while the NACL at their 68.4 average kilogram body mass uh, is 2,700 milligrams. So not close, possibly, and this is where I think, I wish they would have done some urine specific gravity. Uh, anyway, that's getting off into the weeds. All that to say is the sodium citrate trial did increase tennis, uh, increase the number of games won during that simulated match. Um, they also showed higher blood lactate levels in the post-test or post-testing and um, higher pH, which means alkalosis, which is good, which is what you're normally inducing uh, when you take sodium citrate. So now the benefits of sodium citrate, obviously it's an extracellular buffer. So when you're doing repeated glycolytic efforts or when you're doing uh, some sort of max, really high intensity above lactate threshold, generating a lot of lactate, generating a lot of hydrogen ions. Um, so normally activities one to seven minutes or those repeated bouts where you're generating a lot of um, lactate and hydrogen ions comes with lactate. Um, you're going to see a benefit. So clearly there was a benefit here. What was interesting is that shock consistency in the post-test during the sodium citrate trial also increased. Um, so wondering if there's some sort of, uh, obviously like there's a fatigue mechanism or reduction of fatigue, even at an increased lactate level. So it seems to be keeping that pH higher above seven alkalosis uh, is ideal. Now, once again, uh, side effects now, there's another study and I'm going to post these below. Uh, where they gave sodium citrate, same dosage to uh, collegiate runners, um, and you dose it uh, two hours before. Uh, in that first hour, uh, all 17 of the participants uh, said they had the urge to defecate or diarrhea. Um, so obviously there was three in the study with the national uh, Brazilian tennis players, uh, three out of the 10, which is 30% of those, because uh, it was a crossover and double blind uh, study. Um, <laughs> three thirty percent isn't great, and they had upset stomach, uh, minor distress, like minor as far as burping, uh, stomach pain, but that also dissipated and went away. Um, so, like I said, you've got to be careful with sodium uh, as far as citrate, just like you do with sodium bicarbonate if you're going to use a performance enhancer. However, it does appear to work. Um, that said, you got to make sure you don't get GI distress, and there's probably a hydration benefit, although. Um, Clearly, if you're on a sodium restricted diet or something like that, ingesting that much salt, um, probably less than ideal. Um, I hope this is helpful. I'll talk to you guys soon.